Imagine a day, a moment like any other, suddenly turned upside down by a silent, invisible enemy. In the theatre of life, sometimes, the most formidable foe is the one we cannot see, a tiny entity insignificant in size but mighty in its potential for destruction. This is the tale of such an adversary, a blood clot, small yet capable of disrupting the rhythm of existence in an instant. In the cosmos of our bodies, where millions of cells perform a harmonious dance of life, a clot is the unexpected intruder that threatens to bring the performance to a grinding halt. This isn't a slow-building problem, a gradual slide into danger. No, it's more like a lightning strike, a sudden bolt from the blue that can turn a day of ordinary living into a desperate race against time. Picture a vital artery, a highway for life-giving blood. Now imagine, if you will, a clot, a tiny mass of cells and proteins blocking this highway. It's as if a rock slide has cut off an essential mountain pass. The repercussions are immediate and severe. The blood, the life force, can no longer flow as it should. In the face of this silent enemy, the human body becomes a battleground. The heart pounds, the breath quickens. Every second counts in this high-stakes game of survival. The clock is ticking, the situation escalating with every beat of the heart. Yet amid the chaos, the marvel of modern medicine springs into action. Healthcare professionals armed with knowledge and tools, ready to wage a war against this intruder. Their mission? To restore the rhythm of life, to bring balance back to the cosmos within. In the blink of an eye, life has changed. A battle for survival has begun. To fight the enemy, one must first understand it. So, what exactly is a blood clot? In the simplest terms, a blood clot is a mass of blood cells and fibrin strands that come together to stop bleeding when a blood vessel is damaged. This is an essential part of the body's self-healing mechanism. However, sometimes things go awry and a clot can form inside an undamaged vessel. That's when it becomes a threat. Now imagine this, a bustling city with roads filled with vehicles forming an intricate network. The blood vessels in your body are akin to these roads and the vehicles your blood cells. When everything is normal, traffic flows smoothly with vehicles traveling to their respective destinations without a hitch. But what happens when there's an unexpected roadblock? Chaos ensues, right? That's exactly what a blood clot does in your body. It blocks the flow, disrupting the normal traffic of blood cells. But why is this dangerous? Well, think of the vital organs in your body as cities that the blood cells are trying to reach. These organs need a constant supply of oxygen and nutrients to function, which is delivered by our diligent blood cells. A clot can cut off this supply, leading to dire consequences. For instance, if a clot forms in the arteries that supply blood to the heart, it can cause a heart attack. If it forms in the blood vessels of the brain, it can lead to a stroke. These are life-threatening situations that require immediate medical intervention. So how does a clot form? It's a process called coagulation. When a blood vessel is damaged, platelets, a type of blood cell, rush to the site and stick together, forming a plug. They release chemicals that start a chain reaction, leading to the formation of fibrin, a protein that weaves itself into a net over the plug, solidifying the clot. A tiny clot, a huge threat, the clock is ticking. Clock is, in this life or death situation, time is of the essence. Immediate action is required. As the clock ticks, the medical team springs into action, their every move dictated by the urgency of the situation. The enemy they face is a minuscule yet perilous blood clot, blocking the flow of life-sustaining blood in a vital artery. The objective? To dissolve this clot before it wreaks irreparable damage. The first line of defense in this war against time and clot are the anticoagulants. These are drugs specially designed to prevent blood clots from growing larger. They are the medical equivalent of a cease and desist order, halting the clot in its tracks. Medications like heparin are introduced into the body, a silent soldier navigating the bloodstream to reach the clot. But halting the clot's growth is just the first step. The clot needs to be dissolved. And for this, the medical team deploys a potent weapon, the thrombolytics. These are akin to specialized demolition experts, their sole mission to break down the clot into harmless fragments. Administered intravenously, these drugs rush to the clot, working to dismantle it piece by piece. Yet this isn't a simple process. 
the thrombolytic agents need to be strong enough to break down the clot, but not so potent as to cause excessive bleeding elsewhere in the body. It's a delicate balance, a tightrope the medical team must walk with precision and care. While these drugs wage war against the clot, the healthcare professionals monitor the patient closely. They watch for signs of improvement, for the telltale easing of symptoms that indicate the drugs are winning the battle. And all the while, they're prepared to switch tactics, to escalate the fight if necessary. The race against time has begun, the first weapons are deployed. The battle to save a life is underway. Each second counts, each decision can mean the difference between life and death. This is the first line of defense against a blood clot, a critical stage in a fight where there's no room for error. The initial defense is just the beginning. The real battle lies ahead. In the arena of critical care, the war against a life-threatening clot is waged on multiple fronts. The first line of defense, the anticoagulants and thrombolytics, they've done their part. Now, the focus shifts to the next crucial stage. This is where vigilant monitoring and precise decision-making come into play. Imagine a battlefield, but instead of soldiers, you have healthcare professionals. Instead of weapons, they're armed with medical knowledge, technology, and an unwavering commitment to life. Their enemy isn't visible to the naked eye, but its presence is palpable, felt in the tension that fills the room. The heart monitor provides the rhythm of this intense symphony. It's beeping, a constant reminder of the life hanging in the balance. Each heartbeat is a victory, a sign that the battle is still on. But it's not just about keeping the heart beating. It's about ensuring that every organ, every tissue, gets the oxygen-rich blood it needs to function. Monitoring is not merely about watching. It's about understanding, interpreting the signs, the subtle changes that could mean the difference between life and death. The healthcare team, their eyes glued to the monitors, their minds processing a torrent of data, they watch for these signs. Blood pressure, oxygen levels, heart rate and countless other parameters provide a window into the body's ongoing struggle. A sudden drop, a sudden spike, these could signal that the clot is winning, that the body is losing ground. And in such moments, swift, decisive action is key. Adjustments may need to be made, medications tweaked, interventions reconsidered. It's a dynamic process, a constant dance between the healthcare team and the body they're fighting to save. In this battle, there's no room for complacency. The enemy is relentless, and so must they be. As the hours pass, the battle rages on. The tension doesn't wane. The stakes remain as high as ever, because in critical care, the fight is never over until it's over. And in this fight against a clot, every second truly counts. The fight is far from over, every second counts. When all else fails, there's one last hope. Welcome to the world of interventional radiology. In this high stakes arena, the focus is on one goal, the retrieval of the clot. But how does this work exactly? Let's paint a picture. Imagine threading a tiny wire through the complex network of your body's arteries. This wire, guided with precision and care, is on a mission. It navigates through the vast arterial highways, seeking out the clot that threatens a life. Now, picture a tiny device known as a stent retriever. This isn't just any device. It's a marvel of medical technology, a beacon of hope in this critical situation. The stent retriever is threaded over the wire, sent on a direct course to the clot. It's a journey fraught with challenges, but the determination of the interventional radiologist holds strong. Upon reaching the clot, the stent retriever expands, ensnaring the clot within its mesh-like structure. It's a delicate operation, a dance performed on the edge of life and death. The tension is palpable, the air thick with anticipation. The clot, once a menacing threat, is now held captive, ready to be withdrawn from the body. But this isn't a victory yet. With the clot ensnared, the interventional radiologist begins the delicate process of retrieval. The stent, with the clot in tow, is gently pulled back. It's a journey back through the arterial maze, a journey that demands utmost caution and skill. These moments are critical. The team in the operation room holds their breath, their eyes glued to the monitor. The silence is broken only by the steady beeping of the heart monitor, a reminder of the life that hangs in the balance. And then it happens. 
The clot is successfully retrieved, the threat neutralized. The sense of relief in the room is almost tangible, but the vigilance never wanes. The patient is not out of the woods yet. The journey to recovery has just begun. The final gambit, a light at the end of the tunnel. The battle is over, but the war is not won. The road to recovery is long. After the tense moments of uncertainty, the immediate threat has been averted. The clot has been dissolved, the blood flow restored. But the story doesn't end here. The aftermath of a blood clot is a journey unto itself, a path strewn with potential complications and the necessity for cautious vigilance. Complications can emerge in the wake of a blood clot. Post-thrombotic syndrome, or PTS, is one such complication. It's a condition characterized by chronic swelling, pain, and in severe cases, ulcers in the affected limb. It's a reminder that even after the clot, the body is still healing, still fighting. The risk of another clot forming, known as recurrent venous thrombembolism, is another concern. It's a shadow that can loom over the survivor, a reminder of the battle they fought and the vigilance they must maintain. To mitigate these risks, follow-up care is crucial. Regular checkups with healthcare professionals, adherence to prescribed medication, and lifestyle changes are all part of this ongoing journey. It's about more than just physical healing. It's about reclaiming life piece by piece and learning to live with the spectre of the clot. Physical therapy can play a crucial role in this recovery process, helping to manage symptoms of PTS and improve mobility. It's a testament to the resilience of the human body, its ability to heal and adapt in the face of adversity. Psychological support, too, is vital. The emotional toll of surviving a blood clot can be significant. Fear, anxiety, depression. These are battles to be fought on the mental front. Support groups, counselling and a strong social network can provide solace and strength in these challenging times. The aftermath of a blood clot is a journey of resilience and adaptation. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of survival, to the sheer tenacity of the human will. It's a journey, not a destination. The fight continues. Behind every medical emergency, there are stories of courage, resilience and hope. These are the tales that unfold in the privacy of hospital rooms, in the hushed conversations between doctor and patient, in the silent prayers whispered in waiting rooms. In our journey, we've witnessed the high-stakes decisions of healthcare professionals as they raced against time. Their knowledge, skill and unwavering dedication have been our guiding light, illuminating the intricate world of interventional radiology and critical care. Their words, laced with medical jargon, have painted a vivid picture of a battle fought on the front line of life and death. Their expertise is matched only by their compassion. Each patient is more than a case to them. It's a life that deserves a chance. They work tirelessly, drawing on every resource to ensure that chance is given. They are the unsung heroes of our story, their commitment and courage echoing in the corridors of hospitals across the globe. Then there's the patient, the heart of our narrative. Their journey has been one of uncertainty, of fear, but also of resilience. A clot threatened their life but it could not quench their spirit. Their bravery in the face of adversity is a testament to the strength of the human will. Their story is a reminder that even in our most vulnerable moments, we are capable of extraordinary courage. And let's not forget the family. Their unwavering support and love have been a beacon of hope in a sea of uncertainty. They've shown us that in the darkest of times, the bonds of family can light the way. Their strength, their unity, their faith have been a source of comfort, a pillar of strength. In the face of adversity, the human spirit prevails. This is the heart of our story, the essence of caught in the act when a clot threatened a life. A tale of courage, resilience, hope and the indomitable spirit of humanity. From this harrowing journey, there's much to learn and remember. As we've seen, the smallest of things, a tiny perilous blood clot, can trigger a life-threatening situation. Thrombosis, where a clot disrupts the normal flow of blood in a vital artery, can have dire consequences. It's a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the critical importance of our health. We've explored the high-stakes world of medical emergencies where every second counts and every decision can mean the difference between life and death. 
We've delved into the medical details, learning how anticoagulants like heparin and thrombolytics are deployed in a race against time to dissolve the clot. We've seen the remarkable role of interventional radiology in clot retrieval. And we've understood the importance of vigilant monitoring in critical care. But beyond the science, we've touched on the human element of this story. The healthcare professionals who wage these battles daily, the patients who fight for their lives, and the families who stand by them, hoping and praying. Their resilience, their courage, their determination, these are the true heroes of our narrative. We've witnessed a world where medical terminology meets real-life drama, where the intricate workings of our bodies can turn into a battlefield, and where the advances of science can thwart death's advances. It's been a story of tension and relief, of despair and hope, of fear and triumph. But most of all, it's been a story of survival, a testament to the power of science and the indomitable human spirit. It's a story that underscores the preciousness of life, reminding us to take nothing for granted, to appreciate every moment and to never underestimate the strength within us all. This is a story of survival of science and the indomitable human spirit. It's a story that reminds us life is precious.